Welcome back to Mind Body Reprogramming. I'm James Gilbride. We're going to talk about meditation. Why is meditation not working for people? Well, as you know, when we close our eyes, that's not meditation. Although, a lot of people think if you're just sitting there and your eyes are closed, you're meditating. No. Because you're getting lost in your thoughts. And they're bringing you to here, there, like last week, oh, I had, I had to do that. Oh, so upset and still bugging me. I want to get rid of that. That's what you want to get rid of. Or something's coming up next week and start worrying about that. But why worry about that? Because it's next week. Or I have to go to collect the kids. Or... Oh, I'm going to be late for work. These are the things that are taking you away from the actual meditation that's not needed. When you go to meditate, that's it. It's meditation time. Nothing else. Everything else is just resistance. You need to set aside that time for nothing more, you don't have a life outside of your meditation time. That life's gone. Everything has to be dedicated to the meditation. And when you dedicate it to the meditation and no resistance, that you're there in the spiritual world, you let the thoughts pass by. You do not follow them. You see them as they are. You do not judge them. As in, if I'm meditating there and thoughts come up from last week, for example, well, I'll be thinking like, well, that was last week. Let's see the next picture. You know, you move on. Or if it was something... Uh, drastic or something that came up say last week again uh, you would think oh that wasn't good well, at least it was then not now and that's just me giving the ideas you don't even have to think there think on it you just look at it as in a TV picture and it's passing by and when you notice it what you do is you focus on your breath or you concentrate on your body in some way using your senses. You either listen to yourself, how your body's communicating with you and the mind. Listen to any movement of energy through the body or feel it. Just sensing all your senses and being aware of that will take you away from your thoughts. But it's simple just to go to focus on the breath. Or, as in one of my other videos I said, you could just say zero to everything until it disappears. Because you're literally saying, that's not for me, that's zero, that's nothing. Or say nothing for everything. That's nothing. That's nothing to me. So you're... What will happen is your body will get that relaxed and stop going to the ego part of the mind and giving you these thoughts. So the mind's able to settle and the rest of the, or the brain lights up and you get into the subconscious mind. And when you're in the subconscious mind, you're talking directly to it. So what you see with monks, uh, in a lot of places and a lot of practices you do see but they just sit down hold your hands together most likely like that and they cover themselves down here and I'm not sure uh, the Tao the Chi many the names but it's all just names it doesn't have any specific meaning what the name is. As long as you understand what is happening. That your energy force is down here. 
and rises up your spine to the pineal gland. And this is when you're in the subconscious mind, is whenever enough fluid rises and you can open up a whole different world through telekinesis. Um, I don't know, I'm not even going to start in the list, that's just an example of one. But yeah, you get a broader perspective, you see things differently. Um, you can take control of things, not worry about stuff uh, in the past or the future. Because what is the point? You're only in the present, you're never going to be in the future. Because when you think that you're in the future, you're actually in the present. And when you're looking back at the past, you were in the present then. But now you're in the present, you're not in the past. So stop bringing the past along with you. Stop looking to the future. Because it's not helping you. What you need to do is look at the present. Stop your worrying about this and that. Because all you're going to do is drive yourself ill. Now, as I said, with monks and that, they just sit there and close their eyes and that's them meditating. No. Monks have a lot more to it. They just don't tell you. They practice for years and years. They find some simple methods that they don't want to give to you to cost them years of practice. Now think of it, that's all they know. Do you think they want to hand it over to you for nothing? You see, they might give you some good knowledge, which is great, and we should all be thankful for that. But the skill of meditating comes from letting go, not resisting anything. Not resisting all external forces outside you, which brings on them thoughts. Or maybe it's something internal, like a pain that gives you thoughts, or just a feeling of a pain, or emotional pain giving you thoughts. You just have to let them go. And how do you let them go? As I said, you don't focus on them. Just see them. And once you know that you're looking at these thoughts, you say it's zero or nothing, or just go back to the breath or focus on one of your senses, like your touch. And that's all you have to do. Be aware of you, nothing else. Once you become aware of yourself, and not resisting anything. So you could also just say, if you've got pain off, oh, thank you. That's nice. And just thank everything. And the more you thank things, only great things can come to you. So, do not just think closing your eyes and just sitting there and thoughts come up and you're, you're starting it, you're, you're doing it right at the beginning and then all of a sudden thoughts come in and you're way down a different path. And this does happen at the start, because it's not easy. It's like becoming a bodybuilder, say, for example. It takes a lot of work. And this is your workout. And once you do it enough times, you will be that bodybuilder in the mind. But what you got to do is stay focused. Keep at it. Keep pushing that wee bit further than you really want to. So what I'm saying is, when you want to quit, just go that wee bit longer and see what difference it makes for you. Remember, if you're getting lost and you notice, that's the same. To go back to the breath. And once you do that, that's a step closer because the next time 
it'll be shorter because you've let your body know that you're not bothered by these thoughts that you're taking control of the body with the breath hopefully this helps you understand meditation and if you're having trouble hopefully it'll help you um, this is Mind Body Reprogramming I'm James Gabride thank you for listening